Okay, in this next portion, what I'm going to do is show you how to upload a video to YouTube and then embed it in your web page as part of preparing for your final. I have gone ahead and logged in to the MSET Ramapo YouTube account. Your YouTube account, if you haven't set it up, please do so. You will need that. It is free to you and it can be connected where you already have it by virtue of the fact that you have a Gmail account. Just log in with that. So once I'm into my YouTube account, I'm going to click on my profile button and I'm going to slide over to Video Manager. And from here I'm going to click on Upload. And it's going to ask where do I want to get those files from, select files from your computer. And I've got our coursework sitting on our desktop. So I'm going to find the folder where I just produced this video to. I went into Camtasia, created the video, then I clicked on Produce and Share, and it asked me what type of file I wanted to produce, etc. And I'm going to go into the folder that it created for me, and here is the actual video file itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Open. And what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and start the uploading piece right here. And depending on the size of the video and the quality, it could take a bit of time. And that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, that little extension there. And I'm going to put in a little better title. Um, I don't know that that's any better, but there you go. Once I do that, okay, in this next portion of this video, I'm going to get you started in terms of creating a page and inserting your YouTube video. Now, this is a template that I have online. You do not have to use this template, but you certainly can. Just know that when you're looking at the template, I've got a wrapper in there that has a very large margin on the top. The reason I'm putting it there is so that some of my background can show through. I've got these little placeholders sitting inside these little divs. I can tell which div it is by looking at this portion down here. Um, and basically you're going to just grab this and obviously uh, this would be a sample of the student page. The teacher page, remember that you're going to grab a copy of that MSCT lesson plan that I've already linked to and written about and hyperlink to that particular page. So if I pop over here, this is my little sample. Keep in mind that this template has very little CSS written into it. I'm counting on you guys with your CSS skills to do that. So what I've done here is I've set the base font at 16 pixels and I've chosen a sans serif font. I went in to my page properties and uh, went to my heading area and chose colors for my headings um, that I wanted to put there. In terms of the background, I've chosen an image that's going to fit in the window that I want it to fit in, but is been optimized in terms of page size. I've said no repeat. I've set a text, uh, excuse me, a page background color so that that's all in place. Now the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to um, basically just play with the boxes. That's the easier way to go. So if here's my banner, I can come over to my banner navigation piece and click on my plus sign there and go ahead and I actually already know the color I want in the background there, so I'm going to apply that. And I have already um, designated this particular piece over here as an H1, so that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to click OK. Um, and you can go ahead and just apply different types of things. The other thing that, as I had said for your little midterm piece, I have a particular um, dislike for is text slamming right up against the left side there. So I would once again come into this banner piece here and I'd come over to block and I would say that my padding, my interior padding is going to be about five. And that's going to pop it away from the left side. Of course I could change that. But now that I've done that there I've created somewhat of a visual line right over here. So I'm going to want to make sure that these next pieces also move in 
by at least that same value depending on how they look. I might tweak that a little bit, but I definitely want to make a strong visual line going down the left hand side there. Um, so how do you get to uh, putting in your particular video? Hold on one second please. And here is <clears throat> again my particular video and just to show you how I've done that I've gone to my channel and it doesn't have my latest and greatest but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to <clears throat> come to this particular video here, click on it one time, and this of course is for any video on YouTube, but in terms of your work, this is going to be yours specifically. So I'm going to come down to share, and notice that sharing just gives me the link, but notice this option next to it that says embed, and here is the embed code. So I'm going to copy that by clicking on control C to copy, and now I've got that sitting in there. I'm back here at Dreamweaver but I can't just simply paste it here. Here's where my video should go. I have clicked into the location where I want that video to go. So I'm going to go ahead and split and go out to uh, code. And I don't need it sitting inside of a paragraph although if I did I would just take on those attributes. I'm going to erase a uh, placeholder there and I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to come back to my video and I'm going to save it. Now I don't need to deal with code any further but keep in mind that what I'm looking at here is um, the actual thing that was generated from the code itself so that when I go to F12 this and actually preview it some of the things I need to see here and this is what is let me bring that page over to you guys here okay here's the important part if you're running in a browser that has some security going I'm gonna just F5 that one more time so you can see it it's giving me a, a pop-up that's saying do you want to allow the blocked content and indeed I do um, and that's how you would embed your video into a web page. So for the rest of your final, what you would be doing, of course, is creating your content pieces down here in terms of this page is written for the student. So on this page, you should have the hyperlinks to any supporting materials that you're going to develop for this exercise. This exercise is not meant to be equivalent to um, a final thesis project level. This is simply developing a simple exercise in which you showcase a particular skill through video and you build the web page that hosts the video as well as any kind of supporting links. So be sure to ask questions if you need to and I am sure I will talk to you later. Bye.